Former President Trump is making a new effort to boost his support from working class voters. He's proposing to make tips exempt from taxes. The gambit has captured plenty of attention, to Democrats' dismay, and despite being viewed with skepticism by many financial experts. Tellingly, the idea seems to have been first pushed by the former president at a rally in Nevada earlier this month. The Silver State, with its huge concentration of service industry workers, is a key battleground in November's election. Trump is very competitive there, even though the last Republican to carry Nevada at the presidential level was then President George W. Bush in 2004. In Emerson College, the Hill poll on Thursday put Trump three points ahead of President Biden. Trump told his Nevada rally that hotel workers and people that get tips are going to be very happy. Because when I get to office, we are going to not charge taxes on tips. He added, we're going to do that right away, first thing in office because it's been a point of contention for years and years and years, and you do a great job of service. Even if Trump is elected in November, he could not make taxation policy alone. That's a matter for Congress. But some allies on Capitol Hill, notably GOP reps, Thomas Massey, Kaye, and Rep Matt Gates, FLA, are already pushing legislation that would give effect to Trump's idea. The proposal is underscoring how the GOP has changed under Trump's leadership. Fiscal conservatives are plainly skeptical of the idea, fearing that it would further deepen the deficit and might have other unintended consequences. But plenty of prominent voices within the GOP have hailed the concept. A desire to show fealty to Trump in an election year is part of that picture. But the enthusiasm seems to also be driven by a belief that the proposal could help undercut Democratic attacks on Republicans as the party of the rich. Since Cynthia Lummis, RYYO, told National Review, that it was a fabulous idea and one of those things where good policy and good politics merged. Send Ted Cruz, our Texas, told NBC News that the concept was terrific in part because there are a lot of people who are starting to climb the economic ladder who rely on tips. Cruz added that the proposal belied the caricature that Republicans were the party of the rich and Democrats are the party of the poor and the working class. Some kind of political realignment on the basis of class and education has been underway for several years, as strategists across the partisan divide have acknowledged. Left-of-center strategist and data analyst David Shore has argued for some time that education has become one of the major dividing lines in American politics, with college-educated voters being increasingly likely to support Democrats and those who have never attended college being correspondingly likely to vote Republican 